hi everyone in today's video i want to show you how you can how to measure and resize your frontal to fit your head size as you all can see my frontal length is 12 inches i'm going to reduce it to 11 inches which is small head size for me to reduce it to 11 inches i have to cut out half inch each from and so half inch from each side of the lace as i'm showing you as you can see the cap and um, the head i'm using is 21 inches which is more head size uh, cap size so after cutting and resizing my frontal to suit my cap size the way it looks now as you can see how i cut it when cutting it you have to cut it to have a curvy shape like i'm showing you now let's re measure it again and see the actual size after resizing it as you can see it's 11 inches now so let's attach it to the wig cap for me to attach it to the wig cap i have to get the middle of the front uh, as I'm doing, do it by folding the frontal into the four parts and pinch where the foot is, where the frontal foot, and pin it down to your wig cap as I'm showing here. Then, when while pinning it down, make sure that your frontal passes your cap with half an inch, okay. You don't make your frontal and your wig cap to be on the same level or the same line. So for you to know your head perimeter, if you don't know how to measure your head circumference and your ear to ear perimeter, you have to take a tape, run it around your head to know your head size and also take a tape again and run it from one ear to the other ear to get your head your ear to ear perimeter as you can see how the shape of the front is looking on the cap because of the way i place it so make sure everything is well set and aligned then after that i use pins to secure the frontal and then i start sewing it down so like I was saying, for someone that wears a small cap size, your perimeter, ear to ear, sorry, your ear to ear perimeter should be around 11 inches. If you wear 12, sorry, if you wear 22, it should be 11 and a half or 12. Um, especially if you're making a custom made wig or you're making a wig for customer, yeah, get their head measurement is very important if you want the wig to look more natural and realistic and someone asked me in one of my videos how do you get your frontal to look more natural and realistic this is how I make my frontal weights and this applies to both braids and weaves okay now this is me sewing down the frontal to the cap using my needle and tree. I normally start from the back and walk my way out to the front. Thank you. 
so uh, we saw these parts I'm showing you on camera here now then go ahead and show the other part of camera you know one thing about this uh, wig making there is more to wig making than what you see here because when making wigs there are a lot of things to put into consideration and this is one of the things actually when you are made when you want to make a realistic or yes realistic wig you know i don't like wearing a wig that looks more like a wig i know it's a wig but at least let people find it difficult to dictate it's a wig okay so after sewing the wig you know make sure you secure it tightly at the end if i try to show everything here it will make my video to look make my videos longer than i want them so maybe i'll be cutting them bit by bit or if you still want an intensive training or wig making please comment in the comment section and i will try and look for a platform or a way to give more intensive and or more detailed lecture of wig making so this is what it looks uh, like this part then I will go off camera, you know, and so down the other part, and I will come back and show you guys the next step. step. So this is what the lace and the cap look like after sewing everything done together go ahead and turn the cap inside out to cut out the part of the cap that is under the front of like I'm doing when doing this part very very careful not to ruin your work and when cutting of the cap under the front of don't cut it too close to the seam just give it a little allowance when cutting the cap the part of the cap underneath the front of so this is what it looks like after cutting everything off I'm going to put it on the mannequin on my car here is my canvas head for you to see what it looks like and also I'm going to wear it on my head to see show you guys how it looks like on my head so guys i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and this particular cap i'm going to use it to braid a wig and make sure you stay tuned to see what um, the wig i'm going to make with this cap so if you have any question as usual i'll be in the comment section to answer your question and if you want to order my product, my wig, I'll put a link. Check the link in my description box that says that it, the column that says to order a wig. So guys, this is what it looks like on my head. Can you see how realistic it looks? So thank you very, very much. In case you are new here, my name is Chidema. Thank you for stopping by. I'm my own subscriber. Thank you for tuning in back and i appreciate your support and time i hope to see you again in my next video bye thank you very much